All right, what's going on, people? What the hell? Look at this person. <laughs> Nice outfit. Those shoes are ugly though. Alright, today I'm going to be showing you how to... Wait one sec, my laptop. Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to drift like a pro such as myself. <laughs> I can't drift by any means, but you should probably listen to my opinion anyway. So we got loads of people in here who are all here for the meetup. Yeah, I'm going to be showing you the best wheels for drifting and how to stance your car and all that and tips for drifting too alright so the first step is you're gonna wanna stance your car cause it basically like breaks your suspension and just makes it so much easier to drift and it's probably easier to do this during the day but my dinner is ready so <laughs> I'm doing it at night so you go you get the um, the marksman rifle first of all cause which is really accurate and yeah you shoot in between the back of the car and the back of the wheel or, yeah well, the side of the archway and the back of the wheel and you just keep shooting until you see the whole chassis of the car drop and and it's <laughs> it's different amount of shots for every car but it will drop twice for every car though. So, alright, so there's one drop, I think. Or two, I don't know. Because I got ran over and rudely interrupted. Yeah, there's the second drop. And you do that on all four wheels. And don't shoot the front when you're on the front wheels. Just keep shooting the back. Because if you shoot the front, your car's just going to blow up in about six shots. Keep shooting it. And then. There's the first drop. The chassis dropped the first time there, and there's a second drop. And you do that on all four wheels. This guy's about to do it too, yeah. Copycat. By the way, this doesn't work if you have bulletproof tires, so if you already have a car with bulletproof tires on it, you've got to get rid of them. It just won't drop the chassis, but also, you might accidentally shoot your wheel, so you just got to be careful. But just remove bulletproof tires if you have it. Alright, so there's a second drop on the last wheel. Um, Alright, so not every car will do this, but you might not even be able to notice it on the recording because it's so slight, but my car will shake and the camera will kind of shake too. If you did it right. Some cars you can't really see it, so it's not really that accurate way of telling. But yeah, your car will shake and your camera will shake a bit if you did it correctly. And then, it just makes it so much easier to slide your car around. It's so much easier. See, I couldn't slide around one of those poles earlier, but now that I've stanced my car, I can drift around anything. Just way too easy to drift once you stand, once you sense your car oops <laughs> oh my god the guy just tried to commit suicide all right so my next tip is don't keep pressing the handbrake you, you press it like about three times and then you'll enter into a drift and then you just use the throttle just go on and off the, on the throttle and just keep tapping the brakes to remain in a drift and then once you feel like you're about to exit the drift then you use the handbrake again because if you just keep pressing the handbrake like this you're just going to spin out and eventually stop just keep pressing it once you feel like you're about to exit and also counter steer so right now I'm turning right to go right but if I keep doing that, I'm not going to drift. So I've got to turn left as well. Even though I'm turning right, i got to put the wheel to the left. So you can see my wheels. Hang on. I'll do it here. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I 
<laughs> what is he doing? He's in passive mode, but what is this guy doing? <laughs> Living life on the edge. Please! My dad is rich! Help me! <laughs> he has a girl's voice. Oh no. It's probably this girl. Oh, that's not a girl. <laughs> this guy has a girl's voice. You get the idea anyway. You don't keep pressing the handbrake to drift. You use the normal brake and your steering to maintain the drift. A lot of people think you just mash down the handbrake. But anyway, I'm going to my garage and we're going to customize the car. Actually, no. I'm going to show you the customizations I have on my car already and why it's so good at drifting. Oh, see that guy? I can't fly jets. <laughs> it says he left. He was in my session earlier and he was flying a jet and he died. <laughs> he crashed his jet and it says, I can't fly jets, died. It was the funniest thing ever. Alright, so this is my garage. And this is my, what's it called? Elegy Retro or something like that. Uh, oh no, I took it out of my garage. I was supposed to customise it. See that bitch telling me to learn to drive. I'm teaching other people how to drive. Okay, so brakes. I know I have race brakes in, but probably stock brakes are actually the best for drifting because you don't want your brakes to be too sharp. But you can choose any brakes. It, it's not too much of a difference, but if you're looking to save money, stock brakes. And also, there really isn't any point in getting the best brakes because you want weak brakes and you don't have to spend any money, so... I don't know why I did that, but screw it. Bumpers and all that, they're fine. You don't need to change them. Things like fe like um, fenders, all that, they don't make a difference. And roll cages, they don't do anything. But, um... Spoilers make a difference. Life is hard when you can have anything. See, at the bottom, like underneath the list, it says traction. Well, it says all the stats of the cars, and it, the bottom one is traction. Uh, traction. <laughs> traction. So some spoilers make the traction go up, and some make it go down. So this one will make it go down. And that's what you want. You want your traction to be really low. But this one just looks too nice. I just had to put it on. Suspension. The lower the suspension, the better. Some people think sports suspension is better, but it's up to you. I think the lower, the better. Transmission, you can do whichever one you want. Turbo, um, turbo, you actually want to keep it off. You don't want to put turbo on. But I did, because I'm an idiot. Turbo just makes it change gears too often, and... Changing gears will make you exit the drift. Um, what wheels do I have? I think I have low riders on. If you can think it, uh, what do I have on? Oh, tuner wheels. I have tuner wheels because they have low traction. Benny's have low traction too. Um, muscle cars, low riders. All right, I'll list them in order of the most, the best for drifting and the least best, in my opinion, by the way. So, Tuner, um, then Benny's, Benny's Bespoke and Benny's Original, they're pretty much the same. Lowrider, Muscle, and then Sports, and the rest are not good at drifting at all. So, Tuner is the best, and probably off-road vehicles are the worst. And then Colour and all that, you can do that yourself. Then windows, you wanna, you, you're gonna wanna put on light smoke because um, it just makes you drift ten times better. <laughs> That's a joke, by the way. Don't take that seriously. All right, so now we're gonna try and drift this. I made it look like a drift car, but keep in mind the fact that I literally did all the customizations wrong. 
Oh my god, there was cars there. That was not my fault. But yeah. See, I try to drift and it loses a lot of power around the corners. And it, it really doesn't want to maintain the drift. It just wants to exit the drift as soon as possible. Which is not what you want. Alright, we'll try to do a donut. Oh my god, it's so hard. You get the idea. It looks like a drift car. It really doesn't drift though. The LG Retro in general is pretty good at drifting. Just what I did to it um, really doesn't help at all. But now I'm going to show you a car that is made to drift. And it is the number one drifting car. In GTA Online. I'm eating my dinner by the way. Here we are, the Furo GT or something like that. Oh no, Dubachi Rapid GT, getting mixed up. But yeah, in my opinion, the front of it is ugly, but the back of it's not too bad. But this, whether you like it or not, is the best car for drifting in GTA. I have everything on it to make it drift better. It's just unreal. Especially if you stance it, which I'll do later, but for now, so you don't have to spend money. Actually, no, you don't even have to spend money, but whatever. I'm going to show you the, up the optimization that I did to it. I really can't speak English. The second I press record, I just completely forget how to construct an English sentence. Okay, so armor really doesn't matter. I didn't want to waste my money on this ugly ass car. Um, brakes, sport brakes or race brakes. Whichever you can afford, whichever you have unlocked, whichever you prefer. Roll cage doesn't make a difference on anything, but it looks, it makes it look the part. Engine, best engine. So, because you need speed to get around corners quickly. Exhausts don't make a difference. Big message from Shadowhack18. Alright, hood it doesn't make a difference whether it's white or black, it's still gonna be good at drifting. Started breaking out into Michael Jackson song there. The horn, you're obviously gonna wanna put on the San Andreas loop because your drifts are just gonna be unreal. Um spoilers. This none is actually better. Because, as you can see, the traction is lower. It, actually, you probably can't even see it. Because I know when other pe other YouTubers are doing it, I can't see what they're on about. But basically, the traction is lower when there's no spoiler. And it's higher when there is a spoiler. But it's a very slight difference. It really doesn't matter. So I just put it on there. Suspension, sports suspension is better than competition suspension for drifting. And transmission, you can have that on. Turbo, don't put it on. Because it makes you exit the drift, like I said earlier. The wheels I have on this are tuner again. The Endo V1 in red. Pretty nice, not gonna lie. And the windows, light smoke. Because you already know it, boy. Alright, you've already seen it drift. It drifts unreal. Now let's stance it. Like I said earlier, you can probably see better now in the light. Actually, we'll do it on this side because the sun's on this side. I'll just edit out the other part. So you, you go to the back. Bang, 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 bang. I think on the uh, GT, it actually takes exactly six. No, wait. 14. So you use one round. And then two bullets left in the other round. So you go to the back of the tire again. You empty the whole round. This is specifically for this car, by the way. And then use six bullets on the next round. And that's how you stance the Rapid GT. Every other car, you just keep stancing it until it drops twice. But on the Rapid GT, every time it's going to be exactly 14 bullets. Which is kind of handy to know. That's the second time I've been ran over while I'm stancing my car. It drifts so well. Especially in the rain. I used to hate it when it when it rains and when it's nighttime in GTA. I still hate it when it's nighttime, but now I get hyped when it rains. 
I just go to the docks and whip it, baby. I'm probably gonna edit that part out. That was extremely cringy. Uh, all right, let's spin it here, baby. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, we'll go to the airport and test out this unreal car. Oh dear, oh dear. <sighs> Alright, so this is the number one drifting car in GTA. And it has every customization. It has every customization that will make it drift better, apart from the spoiler, because no spoiler is actually better than a spoiler, but I just wanted it to look better, so, yeah, it stands to know. It kind of makes me angry that this ugly ass car is the one of the best cars for drifting in the game. I don't really mind the back that much, but look at the front. Bar the fact that I crashed it twice on the way here. I also broke the steering, which is why it's not really drifting that well, but you get the idea. It's good at drifting. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to like it. And let me know in the comments if you want to see more drifting videos or car meet videos or anything like that. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links in the description. My Facebook link is up. Lynch. My Facebook link is also in the description, but I don't really use that. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Because um, it's important to subscribe but honestly I'd actually appreciate it so much if you subscribed it helps me out so much and it makes me feel loved but thank you so much again comment um, drift fam for life in the comments if you made it to the end and peace